goddamn flat screen gamers and be all purists. Why can't they accept that there can be a happy medium? That you can have your flat screen games and you can have your VR headsets. But they can be in a beautiful union together. Goddamn. I was in the diner up the road when I overheard the conversation. All pants ain't real VR. I was like, God damn. Because there's no motion controls, I said. He said, hell yeah. I said, you can have gestures. He said, what the hell is that? I tell you, it was horrible. And the diner was surrounded by flat screen gamers screaming they don't want the VR in the Half-Life Alex. A VR purist saying they don't want the flat screen games in the VR headsets. <laughs> it was horrible. And I was like, don't y'all know about Dolphin VR? That's like the pinnacle of William. GameCube games in VR. They looked at me like I had three heads. They ain't never heard of Dolphin VR. I was shocked. I tried to bring peace between them all, I did. I tried to explain. You can have your flat screen games in your ball packs, in your Dolphin VRs. You can have your VR games converted from flat screen. It's all possible, guys. It's all possible with a little bit of ingenuity. But they won't listen to them. They chased me. They chased me to this here house. Oh, God, if only I could show them. If only I could show them they could have the flat screen and the VR and... <laughs> if only they could listen. I was screaming as I ran. Watch the VRified Games channel on YouTube. Go to the flat screen to VR modding Discord community. Check out Fulpex.com. For the love of God, download Dolphin VR and drive for yourselves. But they wouldn't listen. And they're outside now. But I'm gonna get those motherfuckers. I'm gonna get y'all, motherfuckers! What's up, players? Yeah. I was a tutorial for y'all. Hey guys, um, if you need to pause at any time, just do. <laughs> so first thing you gotta do, uh, download Dolphin, link in the description, there it is. Open it up, try and get your settings as close to mine as you can. It'll all help with the emulation. Okay, and the second most important thing is you gotta put your paths. Uh, this is where your game is going to be, so wherever your game is stored, set your path to that. There you go. Main thing to remember, um, your system will be different to mine, so you can play around with the graphical settings in terms of resolution. But all the hacks and the advanced settings, leave them as I have them, or as close as I have them as possible. Um, very important is the CPU override. Have that to maximum, that's going to help with your audio. So right click on the game itself, see where it says edit config, hit that, and copy and paste the notepad settings that I have already done for you. It's going to be in the description of the video. Copy that, paste it over whatever's in your edit configuration there, save it, and you're good to go. You're good to play Resident Evil Code Veronica X in the R. And now still some issues i will try to work on them but i think i've hit a wall i think i've gone as far as i can and um, but anyway it's still very very playable it's playable in first person and in third person uh, if you want to play it in third person it's it's a great experience 
It's kind of like a cross between Hellblade and Republic. And in first person, it plays fantastic. The only issue there is if you change from first to third person. Resident Evil. Or if you take damage while in first person and you go back into third person. The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. There's gun culling, and I'll show you in the video what it looks like. And to get around that culling issue, you can remain in third person until you exit the area, or simply exit the area, re enter it, and the culling is as it should be. You'll be able to see everything. Um, I have not been able to find a way around this, I've been searching for two days. <laughs> um, it is what it is, it's just a limitation of the action replay code. Uh, what else? Yep, on screen text as well. Um, if you click on something on screen, you normally get a text like uh, something generic like here is a bunch of useless items or there is a padlock, you need a key for it, that kind of thing. Unfortunately, in first person on Dolphin VR, that text is very faint, it's very hard to read. It'll be like a kind of a grayish kind of transparent <laughs> kind of overlay it's 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 there but it's very hard to read so but in my experience playing resident evil games it's uh, not really necessary that text i mean it's there but it's not really necessary like all your documents all that kind of stuff that's still readable so all the important stuff is still there uh, yeah, and the only other issue that I can't get my head around is when you pick up an item and you enter the menu, it spazzes out. And that's the only time it does it. It's only when you pick up an item and it asks you if you want to take it, yes or no. That's the only time that thing spazzes out. Again, it's very, very playable. And if someone smarter than me can fix those issues, I will buy you chocolate and I will feed it to you. <laughs> So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, have a look at the gameplay as it is now. It's uh, running very, very, very well. No sound issues. For the most part, it's fine. Apart from those few little naggy things I can't fix. Um, again, if you can fix it, put a comment in the put a comment below and uh, let me know. I will love you forever if you can. So yeah. Okay guys, uh, let me know if this tutorial was helpful, um, if you have any questions, of course, put them below, I'll try to help as much as I can. Head on over to Flat Screen to the or Discord, um, I'm very active over there, the guys over there will help you out as well. So, yeah, okay, have a watch, enjoy, let me know what you think, thank you!
please deposit any metallic items you have. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Chris Redfield. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know! What was that all about? Please deposit any metallic items. 